remember that first night when you kissed me in the dark. We were out strolling, just walking in the park. Yes, there's been plenty of boys and men here before you, but none of them held me or kissed the way you do. You try. Well, folks, that's the brand new single "Perfect Kiss" by Nicola Harris, who is on the other side of the uh, the line now. How are you doing, Nicola? I'm good, thank you, Paul. How are you? I'm great. Yeah, thank you again for allowing me to be this exclusive interview about your new single. How excited are you? I am quite excited because, well, it's taken some time. <laughs> And it's a great single as well. And, and you say taking some time. I mean, how long has it been from start to finish? Uh, when I originally wrote this song with an ex, it was over 20 years ago. Oh, OK. Yeah. <laughs> and that was because um, <laughs> this, I don't want to sound like I'm uh, beefing myself up, but he sort of mentioned it to his friends and my friends that after he'd met me and we'd kissed for the first time, he told everyone it was his perfect kiss. Oh. So he had sort of kind of developed the concept of, oh, wow, the perfect kiss. So then we got into writing a song about the perfect kiss. Um, but then obviously as time went on, well, we recorded it and uh, I, I met someone else. <laughs> Because he wasn't my perfect kiss. <laughs> but I thought, it's still a great song. But, you know, we did it together. I I, I was being very sort of... I don't feel I could bring it out because we'd done it together. So I thought, and obviously because of the meaning behind it, um, I, I I just felt like I couldn't. And then, um, then I was up for a UK Country Music Award uh, called Notice Me. And basically, we'd done another song together called Making a Wish, which we had entered for Eurovision Song Contest. And we, wow. we got down to the last 10, but unfortunately it wasn't picked, but never mind. Uh, we were just happy that it got down so low. Um, but then because we'd written that together, well, he'd, done, he'd done the verses and I'd done the chorus and the bridge. And that was my, con I'd brought that one about. That was my, I'd started the process of that. And I thought this one's such a great song, you know, you know, what I'll do, cause we don't talk. <laughs> Uh, and I just thought, you know what, I'm going to take my bridge, my chorus, I'm going to write a brand new song, a uh, different sort of idea behind it. And I wrote, notice me. Uh and that was the one that was up for the UK Country Music Award. And he decided to take upon himself to try and discredit me and say that I'd stolen a song off the pair of them. And I was like, whoa, are you kidding me? Honest, are you really doing this? So of course he kind of shot himself in the foot because what he would tried to make them notice about, of course, they were really good, sent me his full email, kept me in the loop. And they said, Nicola, we don't really care where it comes from. You know, the, the song stands and you're up for a UK Country Music Award. I thought, brilliant. But I was so hurt thinking, I couldn't believe after, gosh, how many years? 20 years, he decided, you think, how much of my career have you been following all this time? Um, and I just, and I was really, I was, I was so upset, but because everything he'd put in this email, it brought to my attention that him and his now partner had brought out a song called Wish. They'd right. not, they changed it for Making a Wish and made it Wish, but they were up for a UK Country Music Award back in 2005. So by pointing it out to them, they in turn a point out to me that not only on this album that they'd been nominated for was Perfect Kiss. Wow. No acknowledgement to me, nothing. And that was pretty much my baby. And I thought, well, if you're happy to let your ex sing a song that's about me, I'm going to bring it out myself. But what I wanted to do is have enough songs under my belt that yeah. were just me yeah, yeah. so that I didn't look like I was sort of just taking songs and making them my own which I'm just isn't thinking, something i would do i'm just thinking why don't you sing him a recorded message like you do and i know that you do because you you, you mean don't. like miley cyrus has done well <laughs> well it's that uh, the frozen let it go 
Let it go. Oh, yes. Just let it go, dude. What, in a country style? Yeah, just let it go. <laughs> you know. Um, yeah. So I'm, I'm quite intrigued, really. So what you should really do on, on, on the notes for the single is this guy's name. Um, this is obviously with him who said that I was his perfect kiss. Now, his partner now will be going, hang on a minute. You see? I know, but this is why I never thought... I, I, I was, I'm just one of those people that don't like to, you know, rock the boat, you know, people move on, people, yeah, yeah. you know, I might have been his perfect kiss for that moment, he's moved on, he's found another perfect kiss, I'm not someone that, like, I don't read into to words that deep, but I still thought, you know, I'm not going to, but when I'd seen what the pair of them had done, I thought, Never mind, I'm going to bring it out. My version revamped it, had it a fresh sound, so it's more of the now sound. Yep. Um, and I thought, whatever. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, is you can play that game. <laughs> what is your perfect kiss? My perfect kiss. Mm. Well, it wasn't him. <laughs> on, a, on a scale from one to ten, what was he? Oh gosh, don't ask me that. It's so long ago, I wouldn't even remember. I don't no, no, I wouldn't go there because okay. it obviously wasn't memorable. Okay. okay. Well so, uh, we always try Me to... and my best friend had a had a pet name for him, but it's radio, people will hear it, and it's just yeah. No. I'll I'll tell you fine. when we're off the air. <laughs> <laughs> but it's funny. Okay, well, what's your perfect kiss then? I mean, what what would actually be? You know, you walk away and go, "That's the perfect kiss." Perfect kiss. Oh, just lovely lips, nice, soft, not too harsh. Do you know, I was actually watching an episode the other day of Sex and the City because I think it's like the girls' bible, um, <laughs> and they were talking about this bloke that charlotte had kissed and he was awful she says he was like kissing my whole face like he was giving me a wash like your dog would it's like oh god no that is not the perfect kiss and then one was saying and when they stab with the tongue and they're like darting in and out you're like oh oh it puts you off your breakfast <laughs> and it's like i don't know how men think that that's actually nice and it's like using too much tongue like yeah like but, but, yeah, you don't, you just want a little, a little sensual. It's that zone, it, it's those years, isn't it? The the early years of a guy, I think, your teenage <laughs> years, when you start, oh, I've got a girlfriend here, I'm going to go to pictures with you. Oh, yeah. That kind of original explanation that you said might be acceptable because you're on unknown, you're unknown, unknown territory. You don't know. Yeah. And then... But there's, there's films you can watch, surely. Oh, exactly, but you still don't get that. <laughs> You know, uh, yeah, I suppose you do. When I was growing up, you had to go to the cinema. You couldn't really watch them on television because your mum and dad wouldn't let you stay up late, really. I used My to get embarrassed when Pompeii come on with Frankie Howard. So <laughs> <laughs> uh, if that, if there's teenagers listening or watching, uh, just look it up on YouTube, Frankie Howard on uh, Pompeii. It's, <laughs> or carry on. Yeah, and guys, if you're young and you're listening, don't use too much tongue. We don't like it. But you touch my heart I never dreamed this would start You've got that perfect kiss Perfect kiss Never thought it could feel like this, feel like this. You held my hand But you touched my heart With a perfect 